What's up, everybody? It's your boy Z-Man, here to bring you part two of Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we got ourselves our first Pokemon, a Chikorita by the name of Tits McGee. I didn't even check out its stats. How are its stats? Uh, it's okay. It's not going to be a great Pokemon. I knew that from the beginning. So, don't worry, we'll still, we'll still be fine. Just, 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 just don't worry, okay? We'll be good. We'll be good. Let's head out onto our first route, Route 29. Route 29 is where we're going to see our first instance of the uh, new system for random encounters. How you doing, bro? Uh, Pokemon hide in the grass. Who know when they? Who knows when they will pop out? Maybe I do. I don't really. Actually, I have no clue when they're gonna pop out. What am I gonna get here? First Pokemon we're gonna run into is a Sentret. Okay, so I am playing during the day. The new encounter system that this generation introduced and kinda carried over, uh, I think it only carried over, come on Tits McGee, hit! Only carried over into Heart Gold and Soul Silver was the idea of day and night encounters. Uh, for example, here on Route 29, during the day, you are going to be running into Pidgey, Sentret, and Hopip. Those will only be found during the day. If you come back here at night, you're gonna find Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot is a nighttime only Pokemon, and a Pokemon that actually goes both ways, I guess that, yeah, that, that works, is uh, Rattata. It actually will show up during the day and during the night. Eat your berry, Tits McGee, because apparently you have a berry. That's cool, I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. All right, take out Sentret, first foe defeated. Sentret's a it's, 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 essentially, I'd have to look up its moveset again, because I didn't really think about this, but essentially an HM slave is what you'd use it for. It's not a very good, um, it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a, it's just straight up not a very good normal type Pokemon. I did not want to go this way. I wanted to go up this ledge over here, and I think we're almost good. Where am I? Hey, you, where am I? I wanted to take a break, so I saved my game. It's cool, dude, whatever. Um, up this way is Route 40. You can go a little ways into Route 40. You can search for the Pokemon on Route 40 if you want to, um, but currently we cannot go very far that way, and that's not even the direction we're supposed to go. Where we're supposed to go is over to Cherry Grove City, which is on this side. Here's another thing that the uh, Gen 2 games introduced was the idea of these trees, fruit-bearing trees. And we get a berry. Berries are used to heal your Pokemon, as you saw when uh, Chikorita used his? Is it his berry or her berry? This was also the first game that... It was, right? This was the first game to include genders. I got a female again! How many games in a row am I gonna get females? <coughs> oh, man. My throat hurts now from yelling. Jeez! That is... What, like, nine straight Pokemon where I've gotten a female? What's up, Count? I'm waiting for Pokemon that appear only at night. See, that's supposed to be your tutorial into the day-night system. Jump down the ledge because we can. Jump down that ledge because we can, too. And now, we're finally here in Cherry Grove City. What's up, old man? You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at the beginning. At some point. Well, usually at the beginning. I don't know if, if at some point some point down the road you can't be a, become a rookie again, can you? Haha. -ha. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Eh, sure. Why not? I'm pretty sure he makes you do it anyway. Okay, then follow me. Plus, we do get a very useful item from this. This is a Pokemon Center. They'll heal your Pokemon in no time at all. They even have free health care. Ha, political humor. Uh, better learn about them. Of course, we know what the Pokemon Center is. This is the Pokemon Mart. They sell balls. And other useful items. <laughs> Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their poke prized Pokemon there. Thank you, old man. You've taught me so much. This is the sea, as you can see. All right. Puns. Yes, I see that's water. I get it. Some Pokemon are only found in water. Actually, a lot of Pokemon are only found in most, most of them are fish and ducks. 
Here. It's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. And as a result, we get the map card. What the map card is, is a new card for the Pokey Gear. So as you get more cards for the Pokey Gear, you get more useful little things. So if I go to the Pokey Gear, we have three of them right now. Actually, only two of them. We have the map and we have the phone where we can call, call Professor Ohm or uh, Professor Ohm or Elm Mom. Whatever, we can call Mom, we can call Professor Elm, we can also look at a map. That's essentially all we got on the Poke Gear right now. Poke Gear is also very useful for, nope, 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 telling you the time. As you can clearly see. What's up, dude? Mr. Pokemon's house is still farther up ahead. That sucks. Alright, seal up Tits McGee and I'll be right back. Although I guess, might as well. New Let's Play, maybe we got some new people watching... Uh, my Pokemon Let's Plays. This is the Pokemon Center, where you can heal your Pokemon completely, both their HP and their PP, for free. Doesn't cost you a dime. So we just give her Tits McGee, she sticks her on that thing, the magical healing noise of healing happens, and then we get our Pokemon back. Thank you, Nurse Joy. I'll be seeing you probably never. What's up, Top Hat? This dude's got a Top Hat. That PC is free for any trainer to use. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Let's talk about this PC. PC is uh, later, is it later or you can get it now, right? And we even know it's P Bill's PC. Interesting. Um, you can move, you can change around your party. You can only hold up to six Pokemon at a time, uh, as most Pokemon trainers know this. You can only hold up to six Pokemon at a time. Once you cap out at six, any further Pokemon that you catch will be transferred to the PC, where they will stay until you pull a Twitch Plays Pokemon and release eight of them on a single Sunday. Or was it 12 of them? I don't know. I was watching Twitch Plays Pokemon. I'm pretty sure they're still on Crystal right now as I'm recording this. I don't know how far. I kind of stopped watching as soon as they got on the Crystal. I mean, the Pokemon Red Twitch Plays Pokemon was awesome. I'm not gonna lie. All right, uh, let's see, what can I buy so far? I can get antidotes, paralyzed heals. I think the only thing I need is a potion. I'm going to, I want to stock up on more than one though. Let's get three of those. We got five of them now, all right. We should be good to make it all the way up to Professor Elm's house. We probably shouldn't need more than one, but always the safe one I am. So this is Route 30. Route 30 has new Pokemon that we could be encountering. Uh, namely, you're gonna find some Caterpie and some Weedle and also some Lediba. Over here is another fruit, bearing tree, and you get a berry. Awesome. I can't remember if this is the berry guy's house, is it? Should be. Yes, it is the berry guy's house, what's up? You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon get healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Here is a berry. You can have this berry. And I will be very pleased with you if you use this berry on your very important Pokemon. Alright, we got our berry. Put it in our item pocket. Ray, thank you. You know what? For the hell of it. Another new thing that this game introduced is the idea that Pokemon... I'm... Okay, I'm going to really screw this up if I am wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure this is the first game where you can actually have Pokemon hold items. If you give them some sort of, like, organic thing. For example, if I tried to give them a potion, um, the Pokemon doesn't know what to do with the potion. However, if I give it a berry, it knows that when it gets low on health, it should eat the berry. And, uh, very useful thing to keep in mind. Later, we're going to be getting more held items that increase stats. All sorts of great stuff. Let's continue on Route 30, where we meet a new Pokemon, or is it going to be the same one? Is it going to be another Sentret? Ooh, a Pidgey. Pidgey, normal flying type from the Gen 1. Gen 2 is actually one of is I Gen 2 has a normal flying type Pokemon, but it kind of differs from the norm of the normal flying type Pokemon. Uh, whereas every other generation introduced some sort of normal flying type that has three evolutions. Um This generation's Pokemon, the Hoot Hoot line, only evolves once. So essentially Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, whereas Hoot Hoot only turns into Noctowl, and that's it. Every other generation did have a three evolution, or a two evolution Pokemon line. Um, although Gen 
Gen 6 does have the distinction of only being the only one that has their kind of normal flying type actually have a secondary type as well. Although all of them are technically normal flying types. Uh, the, uh, oh, what is the name of that bird? The, it's a fire flying bird. My amazing Pokemon knowledge is showing right now. I should start a Pokemon show and talk about Pokemon and I have no idea what I'm talking about half the time. Alright, so right over here we're going to get our first antidote of the game. Antidotes, of course, cure poison status in Pokemon. What's happening up here, bros? What are you doing? Go, Radita! Tackle! Boom! Joey! Your boss! What? This is a big battle! Leave me alone! Asshole. Alright, so that was a route we can't go up yet because those guys are having a fierce competitive battle with their Radita and their other... I'm, I think that might be another Radita. It's another monster type Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's like one of the only times in a game you're ever going to see two other trainers having a battle, not you having a battle against another trainer or something like that. Here's Hoppip. Uh, Hoppip is a flying grass type, which is, n well, it's okay right now because I'm pretty sure it doesn't know any flying type moves or anything like that. I'm pretty sure Hoppip's a flying type. Also, the only thing it knows right now is Splash. I'm pretty sure the only thing it knows right now is Splash. Uh, Splash being well known as the Magikarp move doesn't do anything. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Just keep tackling this Hopip. Um, honestly, the Hopips are the rarest Pokemon that you can find along this route, with the exception of Zubat. Zubat has to be found at night, though. Uh, I never did mention that. Uh, the Pokemon you can find during the day are Caterpie, Weedle, Pidgey, Hoppip, and Lediba. Whereas at night you can find Zubat, Poliwag, Spinarak, and Hoot Hoot. I know in Gold and Silver you can also find uh, Rattata during the day and during the night. Um, not in Crystal. Crystal In Crystal, Rattata does not show up in Route 30. Keep splashing, Hoppip. Does nothing. Nothing happened. One more tackle should take care of it. Good job, Tits McGee. Maybe we'll level up if we're lucky. Eh, yeah, give me that level 7. I will take that and I will increase my defense. Because defense is the thing I always worry about when I'm raising Pokemon. Over here, we will get ourselves another fruit pairing tree where we get a new type of berry, a poison cure berry. Essentially, it works like a antidote. If you have a if you're gonna be running into a trainer, a gym leader that you know will poison you. Gonna be useful to put a poison berry on one of your Pokemon. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there is a hidden item over... Or is it down on this one? Maybe I'm completely wrong. Nope, there it is. There's a potion. And these little flower bed... I, I knew it was in the flower bed somewhere. I couldn't remember for the life of me which part of the flower bed it was. There's a nice little hidden potion you can find. Yeah, hidden items, also in this game. Let's head into Prof uh, Mr. Pokemon's house, not Professor Pokemon, he's not cool enough to get his PhD. Hello, hello, you must be Z. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. And we received a mysterious egg. All right. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. Oh my goodness, it's Professor Oak! My assumptions are correct, Professor Elm will know it. Ah, so you're Z. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. Yes, I know who this guy is. You don't have to tell me it's Mr. Pokemon. I was sent here to see him. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? It's a, it's a starter Pokemon. I'm pretty sure everyone gets one of these. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you the Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah. 
You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, there's this, this is the latest version of the uh, Pokedex. You know what? I'm going to stop this voice for a few seconds just to say my throat hurts right now. <laughs> I'm probably not going to be able to record another episode after this. You guys should be thanking me. Okay? Thank me for this. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. And we got the Pokedex. It's like in every game, you get a Pokemat. Po Pokemax. Pokemax. Pokedex. Go and meet many types of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. There's even more Pokemon now. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Z, I'm counting on you. See ya, Oak. Have fun. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon have some should have some rest. And he gives us a nice little free Pokemon Center visit. I'm depending on you. We can leave now, I think. Uh, there was something I can do, Professor, with Mr. Pokemon. Not yet, though. That's later on in the game. When we get introduced to another new thing that this game does. And holy crap, Professor Elm wants to talk to us. <laughs> Hello? Z, it's a disaster. Um, uh, it's just terrible. What should I do, Wit? Oh, uh, no. Please. Get back here now! Click. So, Professor Elm seems to be in trouble. What could it possibly be? I don't know. We'll get there eventually. In the next part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and favorite, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. I know you guys love your Pokemon. So, uh, let me know what I'm getting wrong, because I need to do more research before I start recording these parts. My bad. I'll see all of you guys next time.